Ni hao. Hi everyone, this is Yan again. This is lesson 2. After we learn the vowels, we are going to learn some consonants this, in this lesson. Before we start learning some consonants, I would like to introduce you a little bit about consonant. Consonant, what do you mean by consonant? Consonant doesn't have any sounds, but when we combine with the vowels, then we have some sounds can create it. That's how we call the pinyin system. We combine both consonant and vowels together, plus the tones. So, first of all, we're gonna start off with the first four consonants. So you see this four letters here, B, P, M, and F. But what do they mean? They don't have any sound at all. So how could we pronounce them? So we need the assistance of vowels. As we remember, the vowels, O, we pronounce that O, everyone, if you forgot, go back to the lesson one. All right. So after we put in the vowels, all sound with four consonants here, we can pronounce the sound here. B plus the O, we pronounce it as O. Bo, ending with the O sound, Bo. When we pronounce the B, our lips is kind of like uh, put them together. Bo, Bo. There's no air coming up. And then the next one, P O. Po, Po. Same as Bo, our lips is put them together, but this time there's air coming out from our mouth. Po. Po, and then the third one, mo, mo, is uh, po, po, and mo. Uh, our lips is put them together all the time. Mo, mo, and then the last one, fo, fo, which just sounds like English number four. But we don't have the R sound here. Just four, four, all of them ending with the vowel sound. Four. All right, one more time. Four, 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 more, more, and the last one. Four, four. The next four consonants is here, D, T, M, and L. Same as the last four consonants, we gonna need some help from the vowels. This time, we need the vowels letter E. A sound here. So, with the D, and the vowel sounds E here, we pronounce it. The, the, your tongue is kind of putting in the middle between your teeth. The, the, and then the next one, T and the vowel E sound, we pronounce it. The, the, the difference between the and the is when you pronounce the sound, it doesn't have air coming out from your mouth. But when you pronounce the t, it has air coming from your mouth. You can try to put your hand in front of your mouth and then try to feel the air coming out when you pronounce t, t, you can feel the air. And then the next one, n, n, as you can hear from me, I pronounce it with a very heavy nose sound. Coming from here, you can feel a little bit vibration on your nose. N, n, and then the last one here. L, l, it doesn't have any nose sound compared to the N sound. All right, l, and your tongue is kind of like uh, first of all you curl up a little bit, and then after you pronounce the l, is a little bit flat. All right, one more time. The, 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 the,
Okay, the next three consonants is here. G, K, and H. And this time we borrow the same vowels. Uh, the letter E. We put them all here. The first one, G, and the uh sound ending, we pronounce it. G, G. It feels like uh, the sound is coming in your mouth, in the middle of your mouth, but it didn't come all the way out when you pronounce it. G, G. And when you pronounce G, it doesn't have air coming out from your mouth. But the next one, K. And the uh sound, k, k. You can try to put up your hand in front of your mouth. You can feel the air, k, k. So that's the difference in between g and k. And then the last one, h. And the uh sound, it doesn't pronounce like English, he, but h, h. Ending with the uh sound. Alright, one more time. Gah.